This is Anime of the Week, the series where I give you a new anime to check out every single week. If you've seen it, rewatch it. If you haven't, check it out. This week's anime is going to be based around all the hype for the new season being announced for it. And it's also one of my favorite animes of all time, Classroom of the Elite. So this series is based around one of the best high schools in Japan, which raises the next generation of world leaders or leaders in Japan. And as such, only the elite of the elite and the best students get into this high school. And it's a boarding school where you have minimal contact with the outside world and you basically spend your entire high school career inside the school grounds because it has everything you will ever need from movie theaters to karaoke areas to schools to sports fields, everything you need. And the school even gives you an allowance based on how you perform in school with students starting off with 100,000 yen which is probably a lot in Japan. And one peak of interest in this entire anime is that it's a reflection of society in a high school environment. In this school year ranked by class, with class A being the most efficient students who are practically guaranteed to get into whatever university and future they want, while class D is for the least efficient students who are le lesser likely to try and get that. And honestly, this school feels like a reflection of modern day po politics, with all these students having two-faced lies, manipulating each other, trying to deceive one another, as such all just to gain power of trying to achieve the class A status. And the story isn't even the most interesting part. The main peak of interest in this entire series is the various characters. From class D to C to B to A, there are so many different characters which you will love, hate. You see their varying personalities, the different tactics they use to deceive one another. Some are two-faced, others aren't, some are straightforward, some just don't care at all. And I'm not even going to talk about the main character in this show, Ayana Koji, but he's just a complete badass. Honestly, aside from the story, the mystery surrounding these characters is one of the reasons everyone loves this show. Honestly, I'm not even going to talk anymore. This show is just one you need to watch before season 2 comes. I'm glad they're making a season 2. I was so scared they discontinued it. But y'all need to watch this. I rated it at 92%. Y'all should check it out immediately.